Good evening and welcome to the State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard Intersection Improvement Project Virtual Public Meeting. The project is located around State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard from State Road 5 US 1 to East of Northeast 10th Avenue. Before we get started, if there are any elected officials who's joined the meeting, I invite you to please introduce yourself. It looks like we have Commissioner Steve Glassman. If you'd like to unmute yourself to um, speak, please do so now. Sure, thank you, Jennifer. Um, I really just wanna say a few words of thanks to the folks from FDOT. Jennifer, obviously, is the moderator and presenter this evening, as long as the project team as well, Eric and Diego and Brad. Thank you for your work on this project. This is a very significant project, a very significant intersection. I'm sure that most people that are viewing this webinar know that um, there are some big plans that have been approved for that Sears Town corner. Um, so this is so very important to the success of that area in terms of traffic uh, and transportation. So I thank you for your work. I look forward to seeing everything happen that we're going to be discussing and that we're going to see presented. Uh, and I know that we have a lot more to do on the Sunrise Boulevard corridor. So I look forward to that as well. Again, just to say thank you and welcome everyone and hope everyone's having a great summer. Uh, commission comes back on Tuesday, so we'll be seeing everyone then. So again, Jennifer, thank you very much to you and the entire team. I really appreciate your work. Thank you, Commissioner Glassman. Give it a few more seconds to see if any other elected officials are on who would like to speak. And it doesn't appear that there are, so we'll move on with the presentation. Slide two, meeting format. My name is Jennifer Laxner, and I will be the moderator this evening. Before we start the presentation, I will share a few items regarding this meeting's format. A brief presentation, followed by a question and answer session, will be held from 5 to 5.30, and again from 5.30 to 6. Please note, questions and comments may be submitted via online chat for the project team to address directly. Slide three, non-discrimination policy. At this point, I will read the FDOT non-discrimination policy. The Florida Department of Transportation complies with the various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. For questions or concerns, you may contact either Sharon St. Hyen at 954-777-4190 or at sharon.singhyan at dot.state.fl.us or Jacqueline Paramore at 850-414-4753 or at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. Slide four, rules of engagement. Before the presentation starts, I will briefly go over the rules of engagement that were established for this virtual public meeting. This virtual public meeting is being recorded. All attendees will remain muted throughout the, throughout the meeting. If you experience technical difficulties, please contact GoToWebinar Support at 833-851-8340. Attendees are also welcome to submit any questions or comments using the platform's control panel at any time. A member of the team will respond during the question and answer portion. Slide five, participating on GoToWebinar. We are using the GoToWebinar meeting platform for this meeting. There is no cost to the public to log in or dial in to participate in the meeting. Questions and comments can be entered into the chat feature for the team to address directly. To speak, please click the hand icon during the question and answer session. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted to the FDOT District 4 website. Slide six, project team. At this moment, I will introduce the project team. Eric Namadi is the FDOT construction manager. Diego Tello is the FDOT project administrator. Brad Salzberg is the FDOT design project manager. And now pass it off to Eric Namadi, the construction manager. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Eric Namadi. I'm the FDOT construction manager, slide seven. The project limits for this upcoming project are along State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard from State Road 5 US 1 to the east of Northeast 10th Avenue in the city of Fort Lauderdale. And the slide here shows our actual project limits.
Slide eight, project overview. The purpose of this project is to enhance the intersection functionality. The overall length is 0 0.618 miles. The contractor for this project will be Weekly Asphalt Paving Inc. Our construction start date is late August, 2022, with an estimated completion date of September, 2023. The contract time for this contract is 229 calendar days, not including additional or weather or holidays. The estimated construction cost is $1.8 million. Slide nine, project improvements. The project improvements include widening the roadway to accommodate an additional westbound left turn lane at the intersection of State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard and State Road 5 US 1. We'll be modifying the median between Northeast 9th Street and State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard. We will be upgrading traffic signals at the intersection of State Sunrise Boulevard and US 1. We will, re, we will be milling and resurfacing the project limits and we'll be upgrading new signage and payment markings within the project limits. Next, I'd like to hand it over to our project administrator, Diego Tello. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Diego Tello and I am the FDOT project administrator. Slide 10, project scope overview. This slide shows the appearance of the roadway upon completion. As pointed out on the image, the roadway will be widening to accommodate an additional westbound left turn lane at the intersection of State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard and State Road 5 US 1. The following slides will go into more detail about the other work being performed. Slide 11, project scope overview. In addition to showing the additional westbound left turn lane, this slide shows the modification to the median between Northeast 9th Street and State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard. You can also see that we will be upgrading traffic signals at the intersection of State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard and State Road 5 US 1. Slide 12, project scope overview. Here you can see the southbound right turn lane from State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard onto State Road 5 US 1. As shown in the slide, the pedestrian crosswalk is being relocated to improve connectivity with the existing sidewalk. We are also adding signalization to the pedestrian crosswalk and right turn lane. Slide 13, maintenance of traffic. Public safety is our top priority. Advanced warning and project signage will be placed throughout the construction corridor to alert and inform the traveling public. Light and message boards will be located at the project limits to ensure motorists, pedestrians, cyclists, and crew safety. Posted speed limits will be strictly enforced throughout the construction. We'll be coordinating with local agencies, businesses, and residents to ensure access at all times. This includes the Broward County Traffic Engineering Division, City of Fort Lauderdale, Broward County Transit, First Responders, and Broward County Schools. Slide 14, traffic impacts. Temporary lane closures may occur from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., Monday through Friday. A detour will be in place as needed from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. during traffic signal operations at State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard and State Road 5 US 1. Access to private properties will be maintained at all times during construction. Slide 15, detour information. A detour will be placed as needed from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. during traffic signals operations at State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard and State Road 5 US 1. Traffic will be detoured using Northeast 8th Street, Northeast 4th Avenue, Northeast 13th Street, and Northeast 15th Avenue. Slide 16, Community Outreach. The Community Outreach Specialist will distribute project update flyers and emails as needed. To sign up for the project flyers and emails, please contact the Community Outreach Specialist at jennifer at valerian-group.com. Traffic impacts will be included in the District Communication Manager's weekly traffic impact press release. All project updates will also be posted to the District 4 website. 
please scan the QR code to go to the District 4 website. Lastly, the project team will meet with city and county officials, community groups, and property owners regarding the project update as needed. Slide 17, question and answers. At this moment, we will go ahead and start the question and answer portion. To provide a comment, please submit the question or comments using the GoToWebinar question panel. If you would like to speak, please select the hand raise icon and I will unmute you. Alrighty, we'll give people a few minutes to get their questions in. So we have one question come in, how long is the project anticipated to take? Uh, the project is expected to, to have duration of 120 days, 129 days uh, without counting uh, weather days or uh, holidays. And we have a question from the city of Fort Lauderdale. Can you talk more about how the existing landscape medians will be impacted and how it will be mitigated? Um, as part of the project, uh, uh, the medians are going to be reducing in width to fit the left turn lane. Um, and there is going to be uh, landscaping impacts in State Road 5 US 1, uh, south of the intersection. I, and I know that there's going to be uh, a couple of trees removed to, to the widening. Does design want to add to that, Brad, maybe? Yeah, sure, I'll add on to that. Just and for how You're it's going to be you, Brad. Yeah, for how it's going to be mitigated, we have a follow-up landscape project planned after construction that our landscape team has been coordinating with the city of Fort Lauderdale to add some trees and other landscape that were impacted by the project. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we have a few more questions come in. Uh, what is the project start date? The project start date is late August 2022. We don't have an exact date yet, but we expect the contractor will be starting within the next two weeks. And the city of Fort Lauderdale has another follow up. Will cars be able to turn left traveling eastbound at Northeast 9th Avenue after this project? Brad? No, but uh, probably if you could go back to a previous slide, be helpful for the... Sure. While I'm explaining. Let's go back to like the, the this slide. Yeah, so... Uh, one one more forward, the more zoomed in view. Is this where you want, Brad? Or yeah. no? Yeah, the the plan view, but the more like zoomed in overhead view. This one. Right yep. There. So yeah, so currently, vehicles traveling eastbound can make a left turn into Northeast Ninth Avenue on the north side between the Hertz rental car and Paradise Grills. But as part of the addition of the left turn lane, that north that eastbound left turn has to be closed off. So that access will be removed. All right, thank you, Brad. We'll give it a few more seconds, see if any other questions come in. We have one more question. I own a business located on Sunrise Boulevard. Will people be able to access my business during construction? Yes, uh, the contractor is required to maintain access to all business and residences along the project corridor. All right, thank you, Diego. What is the detour and when will it occur? 
the detour will occur when the contractor works on the overhead sign structure across the State Road 838 at San Boulevard. And it, the detour is allowed from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. And traffic will be detoured using Northeast 8th Street, uh, Northeast 3rd Avenue, Northeast 4th Avenue, Northeast 13th Street, and Northeast 15th Street. Uh, we don't have a scheduled dead, date just yet, uh, but, but we will let the public know in advance when the operation will happen. We have one more question. When, uh, what work is being done during the first two weeks of construction? Uh, usually during the first two weeks of construction, the contractor will most likely be working on mobilization of equipment, setting up uh, maintenance of traffic devices and some clearing and grabbing within the project limits. All right, thank you, Diego. Looks like we have a hand raised um, by Mr. Wall. I'll unmute you and go ahead and unmute yourself now. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hi, good evening. Uh, I'm wondering uh, when uh, there are going to be lane closures during regular working hours, if at all. So the question was uh, in regards to lane closures. I can go back to the maintenance of traffic slide. So lane closures may occur in the daytime, 9.30 a.m. through 4.30 p.m., Monday through Friday. Uh, there will be a detour necessary later on in the project, which will be, which is allowed 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., and that will be for the overhead sign structure installation. We only expect that operation to maybe be one or two nights at most, but we will provide advance notice prior to the detour. But daily, you may see lane closures after morning rush hour and before evening rush hour. Does and that can your you, question? Uh, if you could just expand on that a, a little bit, I'm inquiring on behalf of our tenants at 617-629 East Sunrise Boulevard. And uh, naturally there's a concern given the volumes of traffic through the day that, uh, that there'll be undue delays, uh, tenants or suppliers arriving. And I'm wondering if you can speak to how frequently those lane closures are likely to occur and how long they'll last when they do occur. Well, the lane closures are permitted, uh, again, between 9.30 to 4.30. Uh, as far as specifics, we can follow up with you when we better understand what our contractor's work schedule is going to be like if they're working on eastbound first or westbound first, for instance and we can update you in advance to make those adjustments. But uh, we don't expect to have MOT or maintenance of traffic all over the corridor. So generally the contractor will have a closure, work at an area and then move along to their next area. Okay, uh, th thank you for that. Uh, one other question, if I may. Uh, wondering if there'll be visual obstructions for the storefronts uh, along East Sunrise. Will there be cones or bollards or other things that uh, that prevent uh, passers-by from actually seeing the, the storefronts? Um, temporarily, you might see the MOT devices such as barrels and cones. Those may be uh, picked up and removed each day. Um, we can double check our plan set to look at that specific location if there is any proposed uh, roadway signage, for instance, that may be an obstruction. If so, we can work with you to avoid having that obstruction. Uh, so so uh, th thank you very much for the information and also the willingness to, uh, to work with us and our uh, tenants. Uh, is there a particular member of the team who we should be reaching out to if we have uh, specific issues or concerns? Yes, we're going to show our contact information on the last slide again, if you could kindly reach out to myself, Eric, Jennifer, or Diego, where your best point of contact. And I have your Got email it. from when you registered, so I can follow up with you tomorrow and we can get more specifics. Great, Th thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see if a few more questions. Okay, we have one more question. Where those, where, will there still be one lane heading westbound on Sunrise? 
there is quite a bottleneck for westbound traffic. Um, I'll repeat the question for you. Will there still be one lane heading westbound on Sunrise? There is quite a bottleneck for westbound traffic. Um, I believe that yes, uh, one lane is going to maintain westbound on, on Sunrise Boulevard. Yes, we're not adding an additional westbound through lane. All right. I will give a few more seconds again for more questions to come in. If not, we'll move on with the presentation. All right, I'm not seeing any more questions, comments. We'll move on. Slide 18, or slide 18, um, contact information. If you have any additional questions, please contact the project team. Eric Namadi, the project manager, can be reached at eric.namadi at dot.state.fl.us or at 954-299-6441. Diego Tello, the project administrator, can be reached at diego.tello at dot.state.fl.us or at 954-958-7629. And I can be reached at jennifer at valerin-group.com or at 954-482-4190. Slide 19, FDOT safety message. August is Child Safety Awareness Month. We are committed to highway safety, including our most precious cargo, our children. Whether it's proper use of a car seat or encouraging school zone safety, child safety starts with you. Slide 20, on behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation and our presenters, thank you for joining us today for the State Road 838 Sunrise Boulevard Intersection Improvement Project. This concludes the first portion of our meeting. We will start the second portion at 5.30 p.m.